our channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome today i will be doing a tutorial on how to make air fresher yes guys you can hear me i said air fresher in this channel we've made video on how to make body spray and perfume but one of my subscribers asked me to make air fresher and it was then it down to me that i've not yet made a video on how to make air fresher in this channel and i know one thing is for sure we all need air fresher in our homes not just in our homes we need air fresher in our cars we need it in our offices now the same air pressure you use in your house can be used in your office and even in your car. But we have different types of air pressure. There are air pressures that come in form of oil that dispenses in the car. So if you have a vehicle and you don't want to be spraying your air pressure all the time, you can get the oily type or you even get the solid type but on this channel today i will be teaching you how to make water-based or what we call liquid air pressure this air pressure is water-based soon i'll be teaching you how to make oil air pressure and even uh, solid air pressure that you can just make and keep in your home and the fragrance will be displaced everywhere okay having said that let's go ahead and introduce you to the ingredients you will be needing to make your air pressure all right to make your air pressure you will be needing a mixing bowl i'll be using a cup to mix my air pressure this cup is calibrated and is 750 ml so i know that by the time i am done mixing my air pressure it will not be up to 750 ml that is the reason why i am using this cup to make my air pressure all right always use a mixing bowl that is bigger than your product a mixing bowl that can contain more than your product if you are going to make 1000 liters of air pressure please guys make sure you use a bowl that is more than 1000 liters all right if you if you're making one liter use a ball that is more than one liter if you make it five liters use a ball that is more than five liters i'll be needing another mixing ball so as to mix my color now the safest practice in cosmetology as it is with every water-based color is to dissolve your color a day before the day of your production however you can use warm water to dissolve your product if you want to use it instantly so if you've ever wondered if you can dissolve your water-based color and use it instantly yes you can do that but you have to use warm or hot water to do that so i'll be using this mixing ball to dissolve my color then here i have part of my water the water i'll be using in total is 400 ml please when making your air pressure make sure you use water that you can consume water that you drink if you do not have distilled water use the water you can drink but never you use water that is salty to make your product always use water that is not salty all right to make your product that is what we call the ionized water in cosmetology 
Now, you will be needing fragrance. <clears throat> I'll be teaching you why I'm using 400 ml of water. You don't just wake up and make your, your air pressure. You calculate the fragrance to equal the water. If you do not calculate it, you might not always make the same thing all the time. You can imagine sometimes you make air pressure and it's this way. And another time you make it, it's that way because you did not calculate your water and your, your fragrance. Every one mil of water has eight mil of every one uh, every one mil of fragrance has eight mil of water. I repeat myself: every one mil of fragrance has eight mil of water. It therefore means that if you have four thousand liters of water you want to use and make your air pressure, you just divide 4,000 by eight, you will have 500. If you have 500, it therefore means that you will be mixing your air pressure with 500 mil of fragrance and 4,000 mil of water. So here I have 50 mil of my fragrance 50 times 8 is 400 this is the reason why i have 400 ml of water if you want to make 20 liters of your air pressure what you're going to do is to divide 20000 if you're making 20 20 liters Every one liter is 1,000 mil, okay? So you will divide 20,000 by eight. Then you will know how many mil of fragrance you're going to be using. By the time you know how many mil of fragrance you'll be using, you know already what you want is 20,000 liters sharp. You times your fragrance by the alcohol you'll be using. To make your air pressure, you use a very mild alcohol, which is called methanol. Methanol is one of the mildest alcohol we have. So always make sure that your fragrance is equal to your methanol. Have not said that, since I have 50 ml of fragrance, I will be using 50 ml of my methanol. So if you want to make 20,000 liters of your air pressure and you divide your 20,000, if you want to make uh, 20 liters, sorry, like I said, every one liter is 1,000 ml. So if you divide 20,000 by eight and you know the number of ml you'll be needing for your alcohol. You will close it by the same number of methanol, which means that if you find out that you'll be needing 20, if you find out you'll be needing 2,000 ml of fragrance, you will therefore know that you'll also be needing 2,000 ml of methanol. 2,000 by 2,000 is 4,000. Then you now do a simple subtraction. 20,000 uh, minus 4,000 will give you 16,000. All right? And 16,000 liters is equivalent, 16,000 mil is equivalent to 16 liters. It therefore means that you'll be using two liters, if that be the case, of fragrance and two liters of your alcohol, which is methanol in this case. I'm just saying this as an illustration. But know that one mil of fragrance must have eight mil of your water. So whatever liters you're making, you do the calculation and that is how you make it. So we'll be needing 50 
ml of fragrance, 50 ml of methanol, which is an alcohol, then we'll be needing anywhere from two to three ml of propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is a binder. It helps in binding your air pressure. It helps in binding the ingredients in your air pressure together. That is the work of propylene glycol. It also helps in making your fragrance to last long in the room. Now, you will be needing take the pool. You will need just a pinch of take the pool. Take the pool is a cleaning agent, is a is a form, is a forming agent. The reason why you add a little bit of take the pool in your air pressure is because sometimes when you spray your room or you spray a surface, you want to use it to also clean the surface. I have seen people who spray a surface with air pressure and they use a rag or whatever they use in cleaning the surface, to clean the surface. So they use it for cleaning purposes. This is the reason why you add your little bit of take the pool. Then the next is to add a pinch of menthol. Menthol is the same menthol you add in your squid. But when menthol gets to the chemical store, you can no longer consume it because there are many chemicals in the chemical store that you cannot consume, right? This is the reason why you are not supposed to buy menthol in the chemical store and consume it. Mentor gives your air pressure a wide spray. What do I mean by that? If you spray your air pressure in your room, a person who is outside will even perceive the fragrance of your air pressure. That is the work of mentor. You add just a pinch. If you add much mentor, then your air pressure is going to be peppery that when you spray you start sneezing all right then you need color the color you use for your air pressure is a water-based color for this purpose i will be using blue color i'll be adding just a pinch color is to test but i advise you not to add too much color as adding too much color to your air pressure we send some of the surfaces in your house office or car you can imagine having a white fibric or cotton or any material in your room and you add too much color to your air pressure by the time you spray it the color of that surface or object will change so you need just a pinch of your color right so having said that let's go ahead and carry on with the procedure in making the air pressure we need a spray bottle to put our air pressure in the tank the first thing is to take part of your water and warm it up to become warm or hot if you are using 5,000 liters of water, for instance, you can take two or even one liter of water and warm it up so that you can use in dissolving your texture pool and your color. This is why you warm up your water. So in this case, I already warmed up 150 ml of my water and i left 250 ml that's making 400 ml of water if you don't understand why i have 400 ml of water i have 400 ml of water 
because I have 50 ml of my fragrance. And every 1 ml of my fragrance meets 8 ml of water. So therefore, since I have 50 ml fragrance, 50 times 8, you have 400. All right? So you pour some part of the warm water in your big mixing bowl, just like I'm going to do now, just like I'm pouring now. Then if it's not already dissolved to your color, you leave some part of the water so that you can dissolve your color, right? So you pour the water in the other container, just like I'm doing now. So I'm done with my warm water. The first thing I'm going to do is to dissolve a little bit of my color and reason it simply so that my color will dissolve before I'm done with my mixture. So I take a little bit color and add to my water and that will be enough. Just a pinch of your color is what you need. You don't need much color. Then you take a pinch of your texture paste and add to your water. If you're making anywhere from one liter, you can take three gram to five gram of texture paste, or you can even take up to 20 gram, depending on how you want your air pressure to come. So I'll be taking just a pinch for this production. Then I'll add it in my mixing bowl. Like I said, I'm using this cup to make my mixture. And you can see that I'm mixing it already. All right. So I will stir, I will mix it thoroughly until my texture pool dissolves in this warm water. Then I go ahead with the mixture. Okay, my texture pool is still dissolving. It hasn't dissolved thoroughly yet. And there's one thing you will do. You will take a pinch of your methanol if you're making up to one liter of your air pressure what you need is a pinch of menthol menthol is for white spread and menthol is happy so don't because you want your air pressure to spread much that you add too much menthol if you do that then whenever you spray you start sneezing all right, you add a pinch, just a little, in your 50 ml of alcohol. So you leave it, you leave your mentor in your alcohol to dissolve. All right, now our, our mentor is dissolving in our alcohol. Our color is dissolving in our water. Then you continue stirring your texture pool until it dissolves. Stir thoroughly, okay guys? This is a very simple procedure. And let me tell you, if you get it right, you'll be, if you get it right, you'll be having a beautiful air pressure. Okay, since you're done staring, what you're going to do is to pour the remaining water into your texture pool because your texture pool has dissolved. So pour the remaining water into your mixture, okay? 
Okay, I'll pour the water. The only water I have left is my color. Then I'll give it a good stir. The next thing you're going to do, guys, is to take your fragrance and pour in this water. Your take the pool water. Just like this. Same thing. Then you take your alcohol, which contains your dissolved mentor, and pour it. This is the reason why you pour your mentor as you're stirring your take the pool, so that it will dissolve before you're done stirring. So you pour it in your mixing bowl, just like this. You can see that the color is beginning to change already. And you see, the color is changing because there is a reaction going on. You have a mixture of textile, fragrance, and alcohol. So you add a little bit of your propylene glycol to bind your product, all right? Just a few mil. Then, you give it a good stir. All right. So the next thing is to add your color. Then you give it a good stir. All right, guys, our air pressure is so, so ready. We'll pour this air pressure in the spray bottle and we'll see what it looks like. And we spray it. I'm already perceiving my camera woman. Can you perceive it already? She's saying yes. So. All right, guys, this is our air fresher. You can use this air fresher to spray your house, your office, and even your car. This is 500 mil air fresher. Simply because I had 50 mil of fragrance, 50 mil of alcohol, and 400 mil of water giving us our 500 ml of air pressure so you can just spray this on the air mm. this is good if you make the color too deep you will end up staining some of the surfaces in your house so guys whatever water-based color you're using make sure you use it just a pinch all right guys if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your loved ones and subscribe down below to this channel so as to be notified whenever we upload a new video thank you